Welcome back to Let's Play Clockwork City. Today we have a special guest star, Lovia. Lovia is actually my DPS character, my crafter, and she will be playing the role of Ones today. Now, if you're wondering why Lovia is playing the role of Ones today, I recorded two videos yesterday and neither of them have any game sound. So you can't hear the fighting, you can't hear the NPCs, you can't hear anything but my voice. So I decided, you know what, I caught up, I did all the quests with Lovia, I got her dressed up the same as Ones, and we'll just pretend she's Ones today. You might see uh, some different skills because she's a sorcerer, but we're going to carry on and find out where Kirith was taken. And as you know, since I just mentioned I already tried to record these, I already know this, but I'm gonna put my best role play and to try to em you know, emulate what I was like yesterday when I record these the first time. So even though by the time you see this, the witch mothers or uh, the witches festival is going to be done, it is not done at the time of this recording, so I'm just gonna make sure I get that little bit of XP boost. Um see am i even enlightened Ooh, i am enlightened um and i'm almost at 700 champion points it's craziness all right let's see where kirith was taken i hope you guys remember um we tried to figure out that all these outsiders were going missing they were there was one guy taking gold for sponsors and then they go missing but there's no proof of it so we're trying to figure it out you look restless, Gearwalker. Gearwalker? If you seek work, you should talk to Razgurig. The people of Slagtown always welcome a helping hand. I'm actually looking for a dark elf arrested by Constable Balden. Know where she might be? Another newcomer taken? Yes. I erect the spine of sympathy. Aww. I know Baldan to be cruel and uncompromising, so this comes as no surprise. Oh. I can make inquiries if you wish. I know Slagtown well. Unfortunately, I would need a kindness from you. What kind of kindness? And of course they want something and can't just do it to help. I need an animo core from a verminous fabricant. One of our filtration verminous? units went silent again. So I must complete this task quickly. If you acquire the animo core, that will give me time to ask after your friend. Will you do this for me? All right, I'll find you. You have a well-oiled heart, my friend. <laughs> well the oiled. fabricants lurk in the ravine just outside the main gate. Okay. Just be careful. Those verminous beasts can rend you in two in the flick of a spring. Oh. I should have news for you by the time you get back. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be, you know, dead in the flick of a spring. Right? But where are these? And I even turned on the crazy map. Um, it's not going to be as filled out as Ones, because I don't know if... Oh, maybe it is. Maybe I did remember to turn it on as soon as I got into the Clockwork City map. Uh, not sure, but we're going to find out. So Ones, fake Ones. Let's go find a verminous fabricant. All right, we have left the Brass Fortress. And where do we need to go? In the ravine. Ooh. That looks like a bad place to jump down. Maybe we'll jump down on the other side because jumping down just seems easier. Okay. Jump on the first one. Okay, we're still alive. We're doing good. Jump on the second one. Okay. Now we need to keep going down. Is there anything cool back there? I always feel like if I jump on somewhere that's kind of not your average place to walk. I should check if there's chests. Oh! Oh, sweet! We didn't even die at all. All right, verminous fabricant. Hey, there's one of them over there. Oh, also, when I was recording this the first time, uh, I actually did some fishing and got some one rare fish. Oh! Ah, that was easy. I'm glad I chose to help her and didn't see what the other people wanted. So I did actually catch one rare fish. Um, rare fish tracker isn't updated, so I'm not sure how many rare fish there are in Clockwork City. And well, to be honest, I could actually look in the achievements, but I just haven't. And, uh, but I did get one. I don't know out of how many. It was green. I don't know if there's something yeah. fancy like a purple one, like an Orsidium. But I guess we'll find out as we continue to play. 
yesterday I actually had to play a lot in the dark because it was nighttime, so I'm actually kind of glad that this time I get to see it in the daytime. I just really enjoy daytime over nighttime. Hey, I got your animal core. You uh, keep your deal? Hist be praised, you've returned. Do you have my animal core? Here's your core. Thank you, my friend. Your kindness warms my scales. Unfortunately, I have grave news. I fear your friend has been thrown into the mechanical fundament, a maze beneath the city. If she is not dead by now, she soon will be. You must hurry. Oh, my golly. Okay, so there's a maze underneath the city, apparently. Um, oh, I have my quest tracker turned off, so I don't even know. Oh, man. So we need to find out how to get there. It's way over there. Okay. So going to work on finding the maze, Please. which I feel I the city itself is a maze, but work on finding the maze and then hopefully find her here in it. Do as I say, you skeever! Reflecting. Reflecting. Wait, what are you doing now? I am a factotum, not a large rodent, citizen. <laughs> what? A skeever is a large rodent. I am not a large rodent. <laughs> Oh, golly. Ooh, do I know that? Ooh, I already know it. It's not worth getting caught over. We're gonna leave the common skillet behind. Oh, the mechanical fundament. Well, this is just another district. All right, so I wanna kill all the factotums I kind of run across because I heard, actually I didn't hear, it was in the patch notes that they nerf the furnishing drop rate from factotums so that means factotums actually drop clockwork city stuff and i would like to get as many as possible when i came here with Anes, there was a chest back there that's why i wanted to look back here i mean this is Anes. what are you talking about anyway so that's why factotums awesome to kill because apparently the drop rates for fur or they can drop um furnishings where do I need to go now? Way over there? Oh my goodness. All right, let's go up, up and away. I won't kill every factotum because that would take a really long time, but I'll definitely kill some of them, especially if there's like, there's some in a large group. Whoa, 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 stop healing you. To be honest though, I'm not even being able to, I can't even like loot them half the time. So I don't know how I'm gonna get rested. Hey, anything else? I hate these trunks. They look like chests to me. I just think that's what the chest should have looked like. Not a trunk. Should have been a chest. Okay, we'll leave you be. I will help kill you. Nope, nothing. See? There's one of those tricky trunks again. I don't know if there's a reason those are everywhere or what. But I haven't found a use for them if they're not lootable, not interactable. Sweep detects zero intruders. Restart initialized. Weird. Oops, I didn't want to do that again. Oh, verminous fabricants everywhere. I wonder why they're verminous. Like, all the pet totems in this section of the city are hostile. Why? Whoa, whoa. Are they like broken? Were they made badly? I don't know. I'm just not sure. This looks like the kind of place they would hide a chest up here for. I'm gonna check her out. But there's probably no reason to come up here. I wonder if beetle fabricants can actually do the housing furnishings as well. I guess probably because I think all mobs can, right? But the fact that fact totems drop them too often tells me that different mobs have different drop chances. Hmm. This place is pretty cool looking. There is a, whoa, a lot of rock formations, but it's almost like the rock is metal. So why? Because it's Clockwork City, right? So everything should be metal, including the trees, and the trees are metal. See? Uh, 
Wrong button. Do you not think that should have been a chest? I really think that was supposed to be a chest. It looks like a chest to me. I don't know why it wasn't. Okay, but back to the maze. We need to get to the maze and we need to find Kirith and get her into... What is over here? What is glowing? That's odd. I don't know what those things are. Hmm. Anyways, we need to get her back to safety. She was this was not how the plan was supposed to go. Okay, so find Kirith. We need to go straight. Look at all this stuff over here. If it's just crates and barrels, it's usually not worth it. What I really want to find is furniture of some kind. Trunks and stuff like that. But I have a crafting bag, so I might as well loot everything. And is this the maze? Because with my hidden map add-on, it's... Oh! That wasn't much of a maze. Threw you in here too, did they? I knew I couldn't be the only one Constable Baldan got the drop on. Uh, actually I came here to find you. We should leave. You're right, we should. And I could, but not yet. I met another one of Baldan's victims, a Khajiit named Lankin. He's been scraping it out down here, but he's no warrior. I told him I'd get him out. Unfortunately, we got separated. All right, we can look for him. Do you guys remember the Khajiit that we heard by the gate where he's like, I have your gold. I think that's the Khajiit. That's the spirit. I managed to yank this sword out of a corpse nearby. Who? It's not much, but you don't need a sharp edge to deal with these factotums. Just a heavy swing and a lot of patience. You ready? Let's get moving. Alrighty then, Kirith. So is this where the actual maze part starts? And for the record, when I was with oh, Ad, the real Audes yesterday, it was in here that I actually went fishing. Oh yeah, they're a trunk. Ooh, a barbaric style motif. I, it was in this place that I went fishing yesterday and I caught a rare fish. So inside this little, I don't know what this is considered, but you can absolutely catch rare fish in here. Hello, Mr. Factotos. Okay. Let's make our way around. Ugh, I hate walking through their version of water in this zone because it's actually oil and it sounds terrible. I really don't like this one. Uh, heading towards the quest marker. Is that? No, thank goodness. The body's far too old. Let's keep looking. Oh, man. Poor guy. That actually, to me, looks like an Argonian. Isn't that an Argonian? I'm not sure. All walking across the gross water. It makes a gross sound. Calculating control subroutines. Wow. This, like, responds really fast. Okay. Now where to? Uh, this direction somewhere. Uh, do you have a trunk near you? I just want to loot all the trunks. See, because I kind of like questing on this character too, because as soon as I find a furnishing design plan or blueprint or any of those things, I can just learn it on her right away and not have to worry about accidentally learning it before I put it in the bank, because she is my crafter. Okay, we're going to the left, to the left. And this is like my good DPS character, so everything dies like extra super fast, whereas normally things just die fast. Ooh. Oh, lots of people around in these parts. Lots of people around here. Really? You think they just leave us alone? Ah, uh, probably not, actually. Whoa, there is a lot of people here. Sorry, trunks up on the side. Interested in trunks only. There's a trunk there, but didn't actually use it. No? Okay, now where? Straight? I can go straight. Ooh. Lots of dead things. That looks like just barrels. Okay, let's follow this crew as they kill everything. Hmm. Decent hiding place, but no Lankeen. We should keep looking. Get off the table! That's kind of rude, you know walk on someone's table. Jeez. Wow, here we go again. We have hope that we'll find design plans one day. Wow! 
That was a little bit much, don't you think? Are these guys no? Whoa! So only some of them come alive. They're buggers. Go! I love how I can just like heavy attack and it murders everything on this character. It's lovely. To detection state seven. How about back here? Another empty camp. Damn. He must be here somewhere. Oh. There was a dead person. Ew, there's multiple dead people. Oh, the scorpions are eating them. That's terrible. Oh, bad idea. Well, this maze isn't really a maze. It seems like all your turn options are, well, not options. You can only go one way. But hey, you never know. Maybe people don't know where they're going in here. How about over here? Crate, barrel, barrel, any trunks? Not a hiding spot. Seems like it would be. Oh. Weird. Anything back here? Oh man, can you guys stop killing everything for me? Please. Aha! Look at this! We got things to kill. Go! You're enjoying this, aren't you? I am enjoying this, actually. Fast to kill all these things, and why not? I can eat cool stuff that I don't have off of them. Okay, we need to go around the other way. Let's see if this is see if this is where the Khajiit is hiding out. I feel rude. Is I that a his pot name. on the stove? Someone was cooking, and recently we must be close. Yes. All right. So this is probably his camp. I see a meal. I don't see a skooma bubbler, so I'm not sure if this was actually the Khajiit scamp. Because if it was the Khajiit scamp, there'd probably be a skooma bubbler nearby. Okay. Oh, man, now I am getting turned around because I thought this was going to be our way out. Maybe not. Oh, boy, not at all. Okay, I can't go that way. Can't go this way. This is where it starts to turn into a maze. I see. More clankers. Oh, joy. All right. Let's keep looking. Keep looking. Is it this way I want to go? No, I want to go this way. This all looks pretty cool, though. You have to admit, this all looks pretty cool. The bad thing with this character is that, can you please not be in my way? It's hard to take like nice little screenshots in first person mode because of the bound ages. Whoa! Turn it! Okay, run! Up toys. Everything has tried to kill me! Die! <laughs> I win, you lose. And this is good. We're probably behind that other big crew now so that we can kill our own things and not just walk through and have everything be killed for us already. So, if that's your thing, if you like to just walk through and not kill anything, just find somebody else doing the same quest and follow them. Just a little, little bit behind so they don't quite notice, right? Wrong. Ooh, a Breton vase. Ceramic. Ooh, no, I don't know it. See? That's the beauty about doing this on your crafter. Now where? Finally! Come with us, Lankin. We're getting you out of here. Friend Kirith, bright moons above. Please, let's leave this dungy place. Oh, bright moons above. Okay, let's leave this dungy place. You'll get yours for interfering, mortal. What? What just happened? Is there anything cool back here? Trunks? Anyone? Anyone? No? Okay. Is that one? Oh, it's great. It's disappointing me. Okay. How do I... No door? No door handle? Oh, no. You want me to jump down a gap? Okay. Are you guys coming? Do you promise you'll come? I hope you guys promise. Ew, splashes sound so even worse. Ugh. Let's see. And 
anything cool? Mm, not that way. Is this a door? Oh, their walls, the walls in Clockwork City look like such doors to me. I don't understand. All right, let's walk around this way, watching for chests. I don't even know if there are chests in here, actually. I don't think I saw any in my other time through either. But I keep checking just in case. And their desks are weird. Most desks that actually look like desks, you can't loot. But then there's like some table looking desks that you can. Kirith, thank goodness. Don't suppose you found anything of interest down there? Oh, enough. Give it up. I'm glad to see you weren't lying, Raynor Thomas. That bastard, Baldan, threw me into the fundament. <sighs> Ridiculous. I've never seen this woman in my life. Liar! You tossed this one in as well! Feisty! This Rainer Vanos made some very bold claims. If you have evidence of Constable Baldon's crimes, I suggest you produce it. I captured Kirith's abduction on this memory stone, and Naramo has incriminating documents, too. Huh. You're more resourceful than you look. Huh. Little wonder Devaith chose you as his companion. Set knows he needs the help. I'll hold Baldon under guard until I've had an opportunity to review the evidence. As for you, you're free to go. Hmm. Why, thank you. Luciana, I'd like to ask the constable a few questions when we return to the Basilica. Don't trouble yourself, Aruni. You know how persuasive I can be. I do. That's what worries me. Do your worst, you tin-legged hag. Set help you if she does, Constable. Uh-oh. That fool has no idea what he's in for. Live uncomfortably and learn, I suppose. You think he knows more than he's letting on? Oh, most certainly. Baldan can't have accomplished all this by himself. Ha! Erasing he's records? Not smart enough, probably. Accessing derelict sections of the Fundament? These aren't the acts of a simple mur. Someone helped him. Now it's just a matter of finding out who. Do you think he'll talk? I do. One way or another. Perfect. For now, let's celebrate your achievement. Yes. You showed initiative, creativity, bravery, all qualities befitting a servant of Set. You shall have my sponsorship. Woo, yes! All right. Will you sponsor Naramo, Raynor, and Kirith as well? Of course. Each of them played a role in your success. And each of them will share the rewards. Yay! Go speak to the Clockwork Registrar in the Chancel of Records. Okay. It will add your name to the Codices, and you'll be one of us. Again, you have my thanks. You're welcome. You'll regret this. Mark me, Proctor. You will regret this. I doubt that. Get this tarnished piece of scrap out of my sight. Ha! Enjoy prison, you scheming prat. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. It seems I arrived just in time. Oh, hello, Naramo. Well done, Assistant. One quick trip to the Clockwork Registrar, and we'll be full citizens of the Brass Fortress. Wonderful. All right, so is that where we need to go? So that's it. We're citizens now. Wonderful. I can't wait to get started on our next adventure. Oh, yeah. He needs a little too much help when he goes on adventures. I'm always having to save them, so... Oh, ha <laughs> ha. You're being guarded. We found the Chancel of Records. Ooh, backpacks. Backpack, backpack. Oh, they're mostly empty. That's so fun. Okay, let's become a citizen of the Brass Fortress. By the word, I wind the gears. Okay. Please state your business or depart. Uh, I'm here to register as a citizen. Welcome, potential resident. Please speak your birth name, followed by the name of your sponsor. Lovia pretending to be Ares. Provost Varune Arvel. Dreaming. Torch bugs. Overturned jar. What? Sponsorship confirmed and archived. The light of knowledge, so the seal, welcomes you to the Brass Fortress. Go forth and create. Woo! We are a citizen now. Wow. I'd say that all worked out splendidly. Yeah, thanks to me. As one journey ends, another begins. 
I imagine there's much more to discover here in Sothasil's clockwork city. So what's next for you? I can finally begin my exploration in earnest. Now that we've earned our citizenship, I can apply for excavation permits, antiquity transportation licenses. Oh. Oh dear. Sounds fun. Come to think of it, I might not be able to begin for quite some time. What about Raynor and Kira? They proved useful. Raynor's theories need some work, and Kira's refusal to listen to reason caused me no small measure of anxiety. Uh. But on the whole, satisfactory. Provided that they follow my lead, I might call on them again in the future. Take care of yourself, Naramo. I value your service and partnership, Assistant. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Oh? If I understand the bureaucracy correctly, I may be here in the Brass Fortress for a while. Feel free to seek me out, should you require my aid. Why, thank you. So we got part of the Mad Tinkerer set, which is spell crit, spell crit, spell damage. When you deal damage, you have a 10% chance to summon a verminous fabricant that charges the nearest enemy, dealing 12,000 shock damage to all enemies in its path, knocking them into the air and stunning them for two seconds. This effect can occur once every 10 seconds. That sounds actually pretty cool. All right, thank you, Naramo. There you are, good. We have much to discuss. Oh, the faith fear here? It is a true pleasure to meet you. Yes, yes, I, I imagine it is now, and I'll be on your way. Yes. Well, uh, be seeing you, assistant. Good day, Lord Fear. Come, we need to talk. All right, we do need to talk, but I think we need to talk next time. Thank you for joining me in Clockwork City, and I will see you later this week. Bye for now.